Brother, he is such, he is like, you know, hits uh, him hard, okay? And I'm here for his downfall, okay? The Rudy Giuliani is over party. Downfall, yeah, I think. He's such a gross little cretin. I am, you know, I'm very excited for this, okay? This guy, he's such a piece of shit. Hold up, uh, we're going live to CNN because I saw that smiling Jenna Ellis. I, sm I saw that smiling ass Jenna Ellis mugshot. And I'm sure you all saw it too. And by God, that means something to me. As I've told you guys before, okay, we're back on the we're back on Trump watch real quick, okay, jail watch, Trump watch, mug shouty. I'm sus. Jenna Ellis had a hard time. She already turned on Trump and by by pushing for Ron DeSantis, and now she's smiling on that mug shot like she's spilling the goddamn beans, okay? Game changer. But what prosecutors are alleging is this was more than just bad lawyering. This was part of a broader conspiracy, a fraud, an attempt to steal the election. But don't listen to anyone who says it's an easy case. This is going to be a really difficult case, which they need proof beyond a reasonable. Hold out to 11 people. Right, right. Well, and you're just 12. Yeah, you can have the exact I, you, so, I, I think we just got in, and this is quick, by the way. We're going to make more typical, I guess. I believe we have. Oh. There we go. I mean, it, it took a while. Wow. Okay, we were told just... yesterday afternoon we'd be getting them, and it took hours later. So the fact that this was released so quickly, Michael, why, why would you release that photo so quickly? You, you, you know, the policy is to let it go public to the media. I think that this is one of those times when it flies in the face of the state's argument that they're treating everybody the same because they're not. Uh, they're, they're, they're rolling things out as, as soon as the printer prints okay. and the film is dry. They're... Okay. Sydney Powell looks like, like she's going to flip too. I'm calling it. I'm seeing two flips. Rudolph Giuliani, weirdly enough, might not. But I'm seeing two flips right here. You show me these two mug shouties, I'm seeing two flippers. Okay, flapjacks, pancakes. Oh, they're snitching, dude. 100%. 100p. The, the, the photos, I mean, they're, they're embarrassing for the people that do it. I mean, that's about the end of the day. But, but the truth is, probably the big photo to come, if in fact they go through with their discussions, that, that being Trump is just giving them a cash register. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if that's Donald Trump's picture tomorrow we're looking at, it's going to give him a couple bounce points well, in, the, you know, in the next poll and millions yeah, of dollars. Yeah, they told and, and, and the campaign was already fundraising off of fake booking photos let's remember not that long ago so to your point even the sheriff has said everybody's going to be treated the same and, and, and how much do you weigh the policy the reason they do booking photos is because the person in case the person, person please. please they don't know who he is yeah. rudy giuliani one of the most famous well, people in the say, world we talk about donald trump but did you need rudy giuliani seems a little bit punitive there's what a lot, there's oh shut the fuck up that's crazy the idea that like the idea that they don't have to go through the normal process because they're famous is fucking ridiculous suck my dick dude fuck you okay they're thugs they're, they're criminals they did a fucking crime they're gonna get. They're gonna Excellent get fucking mug shot taken. Hello. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time, bitch. Law and order. Law and order. I don't want to fucking hear from these CNN bitches about how oh famous people shouldn't famous people shouldn't be able to have their mug shots taken. Fuck you. Don't advocate for a fucking two tier justice system. Suck my Russia, dick. Russian authorities confirming that Wagner chief is getting Prigozhin. Quite a lot of people are all of them. Elvis, like, what do you mean? Elvis was objectively more famous at the time than fucking Donald Trump is here in this day and age. Goddamn break, okay? I believe in no cash bail. Oh, yeah. Bobby here following another major breaking news story in Georgia just moments ago. As you see here, Rudy Giuliani leaving the bail bonds office after first being arrested, processed, and released late. Broke boy couldn't even pay for his own bail. Had to get a fucking bail bondsman. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bounty hunter. Oh, my God. Bounty hunter stream. That fucking bounty hunter stream that. Going after Rudolph Giuliani because he fucking gave chase. Oh, my God. I'm fantasizing about a future. That would be so sick. I would literally, I would be like, listen, bounty hunter guy. Uh, who also is a Twitch streamer, is a Twitch streamer. While I believe your job should not exist, and while I believe that it is truly unethical to stream this kind of stuff, this is the one time where I'm so fucking law and order, baby. Let's go. I'll, I'll fucking strap up a GoPro. I got. I'll, I'll get my fucking Daniel Defense uh, MK18. You know, SBR, whatever. We'll fucking. We'll get. We'll get after it. We'll go hunt. We'll. We'll go hunt that criminal. Okay. One time as a treat. Full cowboy bebop. He got banned for flashing a gun. I would. Uh, you know. Everybody knows. I. I hold the strings of power at Twitch. I'll get him unbanned. Only ethical in this very specific situation. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Daniel Defense, I knew you were Amish. Wait, what? Do Amish people have Daniel Defense guns? What the fuck? They never get the bag in Bebop? Bitch, it's not about the bag. You think uh, I give a shit? Amish? Why do you have to do anything? I don't care about getting the bag and recovering the asset. No, the major asset there is if he gives chase, and you hunt him down. That's it. That's the, It's the journey, not the destination, my friend. Okay? Never forget that. It is the thrill of the chase. I would do it for the love of the game, simply. What's that quote from? I love that. Maybe in American history, and the most effective mayor for sure. It can happen to you. How does it feel to be on the other side of the justice system? How does it feel to be on the other side of the justice system? Sorry, don't interrupt me. I'm making a statement. Uh, if they can do this to me, they can do this to you. Remember, can they, bro? Can uh, they? Like, like, who amongst us? I mean, he's like, Rudy Giuliani's like, who amongst us is not going to try to overturn the results of a democratic election? You know what I mean? By, by, uh, by pushing for a false slave electors that are going to override the actual democratic results that will then, like, threaten uh, poll workers and whatnot. Like, who amongst us is not going to do that? You know? Every one of us is going to try and do that. So they come after me. They come after you. It's like, yeah, well... You were a prosecutor, Rudy. You kind of understand. You, you kind of understand uh, that that is called deterrence, right? I don't think a lot of people have the capacity to be able to do such a thing, but if they were, okay, uh, yeah, they would go to jail. That's the whole reason why you are arrested for this crime that you engaged in. 
You know what I mean? So that other people don't look at that and go, oh, this doesn't go punished. I should try it myself. Kind of a fundamental plank of especially America's draconian criminal justice system. So don't really get why he would uh, have an issue with this. Huh. First it came for Rudy Giuliani. I did not speak out because I'm not a ghoul. Bush got away with it. Why can't Trump establishment corruption? Let Trump steal the election. It's fair. Yeah, the, the problem is uh, with George W. Bush, it was definitely way more streamlined. But more importantly, Bush won in the original uh, shitty results. Yeah, I am Trump still didn't. So when you actually end up uh, winning due to, you know, uh, uh, hanging chads or, or uh, butterfly ballots or numerous other discrepancies uh, in the, in the uh, election overall, you can stop the, the actual recount process by physically exerting yourself, by pushing it up to the Supreme Court, but you still have to win, right? Like, he, he won originally. Trump didn't, so he got got. That makes sense? That's a big difference. No, he won. They just keep counting the votes. GWB had a, a colorable case in one state. He was able to overturn. Trump had, like, four states he needed to overturn. No, GWB won in Florida, but the results were so out of whack that they immediately recognized that in the state of Florida, who the governor at the time was George W. Bush's brother, Jeb Bush, um, that there was, uh, there was some accidents that happened, okay? When that happened, George W. Bush had won, perhaps illegally, or not illegally, but perhaps through, uh, you know, illicit means, right? And then in order to correct that wrong, there had to have been a hand recount. And the unfortunate thing is that... Uh, Roger Stone and others were able to stop that recount from happening by physically stopping the recount from happening. Like, literally, they, did the, they orchestrated and organized the Brooks Brothers riot. That's how it works. That's how it worked. But it doesn't matter because Bush had still won, even though technically he won due to discrepancy. The only discrepancy was the butterfly uh, ballot in Broward, a ballot designed and approved by the Democratic Elections Commissioner. No, that's why I said it wasn't illegal, uh, what they did. What they did was illegal afterwards to stop the recount from occurring. But that's why I'm saying that. It was not illegal what had happened. Also, it wasn't just Broward County. You're wrong. All right, so arrests are happening. Let's get to that. Let's take a look at what's uh, going on. Uh, also, Donald Trump is going to skip the first GOP debate as co-conspirators are preparing to surrender in Georgia. Donald Trump himself instead is going to go on X.com, Twitter, uh, and, talk to, and talk to Tucker Carlson because uh, I personally believe that he didn't want to ask uh, the judges uh, the coming out. Judge, uh, allowance uh, that he might not have gotten Tucker alongside a eyewitness, Michael Jebediah Pence, who is the star witness in at least one of the uh, four different court cases that Donald Trump is currently uh, undergoing. I feel like that was the real reason. He didn't want to come across like weak by asking for this permission and then, and then not getting it because it doesn't make any sense to me that he would uh, avoid this debate because Donald Trump is literally the goat at these sorts of debates. He would have made mincemeat out of all seven of these people. He would have chopped them up and he would have fucking ruined them and it would have actually galvanized his base of support even further. Uh, two different competing theories on this is the Felix Biederman, uh, Joe Biden, in the basement approach. Uh, Felix believes that it could possibly be because he's like already trailing, because he's already uh, because he's already so far ahead that they're just trying to limit his uh, his his media appearances. But I don't think that that's the case because whenever he's in the media, he is killing it. Uh, the Carlson Trump thing was pre-recorded. Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Hold on. The arena in Milwaukee where eight GOP candidates are set to take the stage for the first debate without frontrunner former President Donald Trump. He won't be there, but he will be center stage tomorrow, set to turn himself into the authorities in Georgia for felony charges of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky is in Atlanta with the latest. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning to you. While his rivals are preparing to debate in Milwaukee, the former president is yeah, in, yeah, he's he's in here in Atlanta, and ABC News has learned his friend and lawyer Rudy Giuliani will turn himself in here later today. This morning, Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York and ex-federal prosecutor, is expected to present himself as a criminal defendant. Like former President Trump, Giuliani is charged with... It never... It's awesome. Okay? It's awesome. The, 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 Judy, the Rudolph Giuliani... Awesome. I talk? The Rudolph Giuliani Rico cycle is so perfect racketeering for his role in the alleged criminal scheme to overturn the election results in Georgia. I'm going uh, to Georgia and I'm feeling very, very good about it because uh, I feel like I'm defending the rights of all Americans. Trump is also preparing to get fingerprinted and have his mugshot taken before he's released on a $200,000 bond. Unlike the courthouses in New York, Miami, and Washington where Trump surrendered before, he's coming Thursday to one of the country's most controversial jails with a history of overcrowding, complaints of excessive force. I love uh, mainstream media across the board talking about overcrowding and excessive force in the American prison system because now it's like rich white guys going to jail. Come on, brother. I'm sorry. Okay. This is something that we have been talking about in perpetuity. Not the fact that these motherfuckers now all of a sudden are like, yeah, you know, we gotta, we gotta really, really reconsider uh, our, our uh, carceral state and uh, how, how awful and inhumane it is. I mean, great. Do I believe? Do I believe that this is going to change anything? Absolutely not. It's just so odd that the entirety of mainstream media that has been awfully and suspiciously quiet about Cop City, for example, 
are now chirping about the jail conditions. I mean, come on now. And the recent death of the name Deputy Minister for more content. He's been preceding him at the jail. The lawyer is accused of drafting a memo proposing the use of fake electors to try to block Joe Biden's rightful victory. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named. Eastman's bond was set at $100,000. So is the bond for Jenna Ellis, a former Trump campaign attorney who allegedly peddled falsehoods about the election to Georgia lawmakers. Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, is hoping to avoid being arrested at all. He wants the case moved to federal court and he's asking the judge to rule before the surrender deadline of noon Friday. Meadows tried asking prosecutors for a reprieve, but court records show the district attorney, Bonnie Willis, replying, I am not granting any extensions. Overnight, two more of Trump's co-defendants turned themselves in here at the jail. David Schaefer, the former Republican chairman for the state of Georgia, and Kathy Latham, a former county Republican official. She allegedly gave unauthorized access to voting machines in an ill-fated attempt to prove fraud. Georgia. And of course, president now, former president now facing four different... Wow, I thought it was... Oh, wow. It's illegal to seek out the truth? Wow, that's a whistleblower, friend. Okay, kind of fucked up. Felony cases. There was a major development yesterday in the classified documents case. This is the first known witness to cooperate against former President Trump and cooperate with special counsel Jack Smith, an IT worker at Mar-a-Lago, Yusel Tavares. Prosecutors were prepared to charge him with lying to investigators before he had his change of heart. Surrender is just a term of phrase because you're like surrendering yourself to the state. They're booking him. That's it. And now we're told he provided valuable information to Jack Smith and his team about former President Trump's alleged push to have IT footage, security camera footage at Mar-a-Lago deleted, despite knowing the FBI wanted to see it. George. More evidence coming out, Aaron. Thanks very much. So happening now, Rudy Giuliani is on his way to Georgia to surrender. The former New York City mayor once served as a lawyer for Donald Trump, literally helping him right into two impeachment. IT guys are having a fucking resurgence, dude. IT guy uh, giving up the goods on Donald Trump in Mar-a-Lago. IT guys are... are uh, De not declassifying, but like leaking top secret classification documents. You got to watch out. You gotta watch out for the IT boys, okay? They'll get you. They know everything. And holding court at Four Seasons Landscaping. Oh, I guess so. IT. Most charges, along with Trump, for trying to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. He said this moments before boarding a plane. I don't know if I plead today, but if I do, I plead not guilty. And I get photographed. Isn't that nice? A, a mugshot for the man who probably put the worst criminals of the 20th century in jail. You find a prosecutor who has a better record of mine. Brother, he is such. He is like. You know this shit hits uh, him hard, okay? And I'm still going. Football, okay, the Rudy Giuliani is over party, smoking on that Rudolph Giuliani pack. He's such a gross little cretin. I am, you know, I'm very excited for this, okay? Fuck this guy. He's such a piece of shit. In the last hundred years. So I'm mad. Or a mayor. And they're going to they're going to, they're degrade themselves by doing a mugshot of me. Like, people will recognize me. And now, of course, they can fingerprint me, but I've been fingerprinted 150 times, so. This will turn out exactly like the FBI search turned out. They're lying. I'm telling the truth. They're destroying my right to counsel, my right to be a lawyer. They're destroying his right to counsel. It's not accidental that they've indicted all of the lawyers. Never heard of that before in America. Now they've indicted people in this case. I don't even know who they are. These are just regular people making a normal living. They're going to bankrupt. They won't convict them. Once Giuliani gets to Georgia, he is expected to go first to the DA's office to discuss his bond agreement. Once Rudy looks like the American Prigozhin, uh, makes you think, uh, actually, he might be the American Prigozhin. He probably is Prigozhin. Prigozhin, news, news, uh, breaking news. Rudolph Giuliani body swap with Prigozhin. He's actually in the United States of America surviving. The deal is struck. He could then go directly to jail and not collect two hundred dollars although that would be useful to him because he seems to be having issues paying for his defense god it's pretty funny dude the oh god his downfall and the serious coverage surrounding it is pretty awesome like he's fucking broke too it's awesome dude ex-trump attorney kenneth cheesebro mugshot yeah these are so ugly oh i can't wait for the trump one there ain't no way he's good. There ain't no way he was good here let's look at some of these mugshots uh booking photos for kenneth cheesebro Kathy Latham and what happened to the woman? Oh my God, she blew up. The Jesus. <laughs> Kathy Latham is so white, she blew up the exposure, dude. Actually, bad. Readjust the white balance. My mug shouties. These are just regular people <laughs> trying to make a living. Please stop. <laughs> uh, hey, if you can't do the t uh, if you can't do the time, don't do the crime. You know what I'm saying? Hey, these thugs, <laughs> these fucking thugs are getting what's coming for them. Do you understand? These criminals. <laughs> Yeah, they should have just complied with the okay. law. Have you ever thought about the rule of the law? Okay, so Nothing sacred anymore, huh? Yes, people. Why, 